Hi Assassins, welcome to today's video. So, Helix Rift event starts tomorrow for the brand new Hero Malik and the epic heroes that you can take in, one of them is very, very new. I don't have him at five star and unless you've bought the cubes that are actually available in the shop now, very few people are going to have a five star and a Katas. So, that leaves you with Jamie. And what do I know about Jamie? Not too much really, never played him. Just really have him doing codexes in the... Uh, library that's about as far as i've taken him so today we're going to go for a little bit of gameplay show him off a little bit and just see is he going to be able to help you through this event um as i said don't forget this is the road to a thousand subscribers so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed consider subscribing drop a thumbs up right so jamie if we take a little look at him here i've completely equipped him out at t5 gear he's level 45 because that's a sweet spot for being able to equip all the gear so let's have a look at his skills. So, first one, which is quite a nice little one, really. I didn't know he had this ability. Uh, pinning, uh, pinning shot, so deals damage from outside combat. So basically the same as a throwing knife or Edward's pistol. Uh, with 25% increased crit chance, slows enemies by 40% for 8 ticks, grants initiative. So you fire this off, you've only got it twice, but it gets your initiative, slows the enemy down so they attack less, and it does have a 25 percent chance to crit like higher than what your crit chance is so very nice ability quite i'm looking forward to using it actually right so we've got the uh, is that death hit so 50 percent chance to reduce enemies defense by 50 percent uh for three ticks obviously strikes for 125 percent damage as well so you get a nice bit of damage off and there's a chance to reduce the enemy's defense which is always nice he's got the taunt ability as well so increases an enemy's mischance by 30% for 8 ticks, but also increases its attack by 20% for 4 ticks. Now, I'm not a fan of the, uh, of the taunt ability, to be honest with you, because unless you've extra trained him quite a lot in his dodge, you're probably going to take more hits than you should, really, and at, you know, a lot more damage. So that's an ability I don't particularly enjoy using um, I will use it in the video obviously just to show you what it's about but when I do my run through I'm probably not gonna um, I'm not gonna do this just for it's the sake of them missing I'd rather just get the damage off take a couple of little reduced hits and just move on right so he's got a couple of passive abilities here so on guard uh, initiative increases dodge by 12% until the end of combat and gains a 25% chance to strike twice so if you are going to use the taunt ability, I suggest you use it when um, you've got initiative because then at least you, you're adding all these extra you know, dodge percentages, chances for them to miss. So along with your dodge and their miss chance, you could get away with not getting hit for a couple of turns. The other passive ability he's got here is attack and defense is permanently increased by 15%. At the start of combat, 50% chance of increasing attack and defense by an additional 15% for free ticks. So the minute you go into combat, there's a 50% chance that you're going to gain an extra 15% um, attack and defense. So that would basically total it up to 30 with obviously just the ability that it does flat out anyway. So not bad, not a bad health pool. I haven't extra trained him at all. So let's take him in to probably, let's take him into story 27 because, you know, if you're looking to run GM with him, this is probably going to be the type of level that you do want to go through. So here we go. We've got Jamie there, obviously just brought Yusuf and Jean in. Not really about them. We just um, obviously just brought them in to showcase them. Right. Um, well, for a little bit of support. So this is basically the Jamie show. So here we go. Right, so the first enemy we're going to get a nice surprise attack on. I will slow this down because there you go. We're on a two so you can see a little bit more that's happening. So we're just going to go up. I'm not going to use the ability to get an initiative because I'm going to get that anyway because he's not facing me. So let's hit this. Right, so that's not bad. Like, that was, you know, three, just over 3k damage. And he's got him down. So two hits and he's done him. Um, very, very good. Very good. Right, now these enemies are quite fast, so I will use this ability here on that crit. That was absolutely lovely. What I am going to do now is I am going to taunt because, because I've got the initiative, I've got that extra 15% chance to dodge. So if you're going to use it, I probably would suggest using it now. 
Uh, let's lower his defences. Didn't need to. Absolutely. He hit twice then as well. So they hit him for 18k damage there because he hit twice. Uh, let's get this off. So that's a lovely little bit of his dodging. So if he hits twice there, then he's dead. So this is the thing. You need that 25% chance to work in your favour. Right, let's just bring Yusuf in here because there's no point getting Jamie to do this because it's not what he's designed for. All right, let's get him over the top. All right, well done, Yusuf. He has done that. Right, so into the next room we go. We'll go into this room here. Again, we'll take Jamie. He's got no buffs. He's got no heroes. Like, if you used to use Domingo's ability for, like, increased attack and defense and initiative, then obviously he's going to be a little bit better. But this is just him at his base. So let's go ahead here. Right, so because he's not looking at us, I'm going to get the reduced, hopeful reduced defense. Yes, yeah, so I reduced his defense by um, 15, 50%. And he's doing all right. Can do it again. Right. Now, this bloke's quite fast, but I am going to save his ability. So let's just go in. Probably not get initiative here. Nope. Um, right. He's dodging. He's doing all right. I'm not going to taunt this fella because he does get two attacks off to my one. So I'm just going to see if... No, if that had KO'd, that would have been lovely. But there you go. We've got him down. So his damage output varies. Sometimes he's doing 3k. Sometimes he's doing 2, depending on the enemy's armor. But all in all... He's not too bad, to be honest with you. He's not a bad little hero. Oh, God's sake. 87% chance. It's lucky that nothing happens there. Right, this is a bit of a beefy enemy here. Uh, let, I, Yusuf will get him down, but yeah, that's it. With a nice little crit. He should be all good. Right. Need Yusuf to get through here. 92% chance. Don't fail this one. Right. So, here we go. Back up into the top room here with Jamie. Now, let's see how he can get in now. I'm not going to slow this enemy down because he's a very slow, slow enemy. So, let's get that off. I'll get initiative. Um, I'm going to taunt because I've got the initiative. He's quite slow, weapon speed, and I absolutely wrecked him now. So, do the same here. Didn't lower his defense, though, that time, which is the only issue. But you can see Jamie's very low health. He doesn't take a whack. He really doesn't. He's quite flimsy, considering for someone who's meant to be a tank. But, right, let's get that off. Right, he's missed. He's got that. Oh, this is going to be a bit shaky. Crit there. Nice little crit. Right, I'm going to slow him down here. So that's slowed him down. Let's get the defense drop. One more hit and I'll probably be dead. Yep, there you go. So... Overall, not too bad a hero. Hits reasonably hard, but he just doesn't seem to be able to take any damage. That's the only issue I've got with him. He, he's, you know, he does his job all right, but at the same time, you you see him. Obviously, I was taking him to every single fight, but when you kind of get a tank like that at that level with T5 gear, you want to be able to kind of steamroll that quest with that hero. So you think you're taking in Najma and um, Edward as your legendaries. They're not that tanky. So he is going to have to do the legwork. Good thing is, is you can take Edward and Najma in to kind of thin the herd a little bit and have Jamie clear up. But he isn't a game-breaking hero. He's, he's average at best. He's all right. He doesn't do anything spectacular. He's got a couple of fun little abilities, but... All in all, doesn't particularly do anything that well. Uh, if he gets a double strike off, then you're golden. Like, especially if that crits, you know, you'll one-shot most enemies. But you are banking on a 25% chance for that to happen. So, not a bad hero. Bit average. Should hopefully do quite well in the Helix Rift event for you. But you're going to have to play him well. So... I hope you enjoyed the video, Assassins. Good night, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.